Hello Diamond Divas, this is Wanda from Wanda's Work Basket for all things creative and crafty with some inspiration mixed in. Uh, today I want to show you these little cuties. They are uh, three dimensional keychains. I think I got them from So Any Deals. They come two in a pack like that and you glue the sparklers on. You can see I'm like moving the arms, you can move the legs, you can even turn the head. And he's cute. And he's a keychain. Um, I think, oh and the keychain swivels around. And I have a special way to keep them, uh, t to make them so that it, everything stays swivelly. I'm not sure how long this plastic thing is going to last, but we shall see. This is the completed one, and it's already been polycrylic as well. So I'm going to take you from start to finish. These things are a challenge to do, so I'm going to take you from start to finish on how to do them. All right. So, they come in a kit of two. All right, and this is how they come. I haven't touched these yet. They each have their own color. Um, this one, in this kit, one's pink and one's purple. You get the two teddies, posable teddies. You get a kit, and what's different about this kit is. Show you. Your typical green boat, blah blah blah, your typical pink pen, yada yada. It comes with the typical wax and a few bags. I like the bags because I like to keep all the extra diamonds that come with it. What does come with it that's different is the glue. I'll show you in a second. Just back in here. It comes with a B7000. Now, I've never heard of B B7000 before. It comes in a little glue tube, and it has a needle tip. I don't know. Can you see the needle tip? Yeah. yeah. What you do is you take the... There's like a band that you have to kind of like break off the edges here. It'll come off. I get it unstuck. It will come off. This ring. Come on. I've done it a number of times now. There it goes. That's trash. So then you twist off the tube. And the tube is not sealed. Alright? The tube is already open. You put this on here tightly. You just shove it in. It doesn't like twist or anything. You just shove it in. Now this glue I would highly suggest to be in a well ventilated area because it's a little toxic. <laughs> It'll surely if you're working on them for hours and hours and hours I'm telling you mm. What you do to, to keep this from clogging up and getting stuck, you have to take it off and soak it in warm water and put this little cap back on. So don't lose this little cap. All right. So I'm going to take you step by step. So I'm going to put this all back in here, this kit, because I'm going to do them later. I'm going to try to sell them at the flea market too. Keychains, by the way, are my best seller. All the all the different kind of keychains that you do are my best seller at, at uh, flea market. All right. Take Teddy out of here. And I do not use the pen that comes with it because it has the metal tip. Because it has the metal tip on it. And I don't do metal tips on bling. It scratches it. 
when you come up with either a dull spot or a scratch on top of it. I don't like that. Okay. This seems to have a little bit of a, a crack on his arm. Can you see that in there? Right in here. Looks like a spot of dirt, but it's not. It's actually a crack. So, hmm. And also, I do not use. I do not use the wax that they have. The pink wax. I use a wax pencil. Wax pencil. I will have some of these up on my Etsy shop. All you do, it's it's all wax. It's like a you know, and you peel back the the um, paper around it. And what you do is you trim it off with the, the end of your scissors to keep it nice. Sometimes when you use it around these glues, it gets like a hard spot and it won't pick up. So all you have to do is like rub it off. You can rub it on the, a rough surface or you can use your uh, scissors to just sort of trim an end off. I even put them in a pencil sharpener to sharpen. And it goes very well. So... I need. Do I need a scissors? No. I'll pour them all in here. Check the plastic. I don't have a gate on the end here, so I have to be careful. All right. <clears throat> I'll just be careful. So. I start with the head. I start with the face because that's what I want to be the most perfect. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of getting little Google eyes and putting little Google eyes down for the eyes because it's all it's all just as you can see there it's all just blank. It's cute as a button, but there's no eyes. So maybe I'll put two Google's eye, Google eyes on another one. If I do, I'll show you it down below. <clears throat> I will only have one left to do that with. All right, so I have the one bag for the drills. I open up the glue. Did I start a glue in the other one already? I don't think so. All right. Put the tip on tightly. And I squeeze just a little bit until I see the glue fill up the well and then come up as a drop at the top. There is enough glue in here to do like two and a half teddies. Come on. There we go. You probably can't see it, but I, there's a little tiny drop on the end. Come off. Now it came off in my hand. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's sticky. Believe me, it's sticky, sticky. So when I start, <clears throat> I start with the nose. I blob the glue on it and go around the outside edge. One nosy. Okay. And I take the bling with the wax thing. I put one at the bottom of his nosy. And I put two on the top of his nosy. Come on. Come off of my pencil. Now the glue is a little bit slippery. In the beginning which is just fine and then I put a circle of drills all around the nose and that starts the face okay can you see that well enough I hope <coughs> And I push them real close. There is, you will have extra drills, so don't worry about overusing them. Okay. And one last one in here. And I can squish them together. All right, so there's the start. There's the little nosy. And I just keep going around it. 
Come on now. This glue, it, I wish there was an, uh, a way, and maybe I can get a bobby pin or something, so that when I push it down, it stays down at the end. I usually have my magnifying glasses on and I didn't want to look dorky on the video. <laughs> so I didn't. There's plenty of glue. Don't worry about... Now, to keep the head turning, you're going to need to not glue all the way up to the crease. And I'll show you what I mean. You can tell where you put glue in it because it's a shiny spot. So I just keep filling it in then. Whoopee. Okay. And I, I find it looks better if they look random. The arms and legs, as you will see, I keep straight lines <clears throat> as much as I can except around the paw but on the face the back torso I like it a little more random because you know our animal hair is not perfectly straight All right. I can see I need a little more glue under the chin see Need a little more glue here. And again, I don't want to go up so far that I'm touching the crease here. Oh, I hope you can see this. Push it close to the others. I don't like a whole lot of white showing. The lighter colors show less, uh, less white underneath them. And you can kind of like put them a little bit on top of each other. So when I'm getting into the crease, that's what I do sometimes. I put one on top of each other to get close, but not one to it. And as I'm doing it, as I'm working on it to keep it loose, see, that would move down. To make sure it's loose, I keep twisting it back and forth. All right. So that's what I do. I keep going around. Just keep adding it around. Small patch at a time because this glue sets up and dries very quickly. If you have trouble getting a hang of this needle and believe me it gets to be a real pain in the neck as you get closer and closer to the end I like those needles for bottles that, that come out much more smoothly but this is under so much pressure I think alright see how that's coming out it looks a little bit random, but I'm like filling in, filling in the holes, filling in wherever I put the glue. Oops. And you can tell if it's not going to stay there or not. All right. And you keep going with that. And I will, but I want to show you the face that I've done up to the ears. I'll show you how to put the ears in easily. Come on. I'm just putting the diamonds back in the tray. Okay. There we go. Oops. All right. Are back in. I'm going to keep the glue out because I'm going to be using it later. I'm going to be keep, keep using it. All right. 
the next one I have here has the face done. I did the back of his head too. That kind of sometimes has, you know, you can make it like look like little lines. And the head turns very easily. And the top, when you get to the very top, I make sure that I have one, one or two between the ear and this little loop at the top, both sides. And I make sure that this little thing twists. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do the ears. I'm gonna use a smaller tray because really I don't need a bigger tray for this. <coughs> Mm. All right. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. See if I, you can get in a little bit more. Okay. What I do is I start on the front and I do a straight line right next to. Now the ears don't wiggle, so it's okay you can put them right up against the crease. And I usually like to fill in the whole ear with goop at a time. So I put them in on a straight line, getting as close to the edge as I can. That's better. I do that again but this time I go like in between I don't put a circle straight on a circle I put it in between like I don't know can you see that the first one makes a straight row and this one the circle kind of meets the fat part of the circle meets where the other two circles meet below it. Okay. And I keep doing this all the way around. It's okay if it sticks out a little bit. Because I'll show you how to do that too. Okay. Come on. You've put too much on, the glue dries. And I fill in places around the edges that didn't get done. Yeah. Oop, come on. Come on, get the sticky down. Alrighty then. You know what I'm going to do? This is, I'm going to soak this in warm water. This is phase two. Just use the tube without the tiny, tiny, tiny applicator. Okay, I'm going to fill in the areas. And it's going to goop. Because now you're not getting a thin, steady stream. And then I put the glue right around the top of the ear, too. The edge of the ear. I'm just gonna... I park my glue on something so that it doesn't get glue all over the table. All right, now I can fill in. Come on. Now I get two. All right. Now I fill in. I let them stick over the edge a little bit. And again, I use the wax pencil because I don't want to take any of the shimmer, any of the AB coating off of it. All right. And I go around the top of the ear. Put them flat on there. Making sure it covers as much of the white as I can. Oops, see? try to have a light touch with these things, but then they like to stick sometimes. Oops. 
Yeah, I don't want two at a time. Okay. I think working with bling is so much fun. The sparkle makes things so happy. You know, <clears throat> some may think that bling is too gaudy, too pretentious or whatever. Too something for them. And I get that, <clears throat> but I think it makes it makes me happy. Does bling make you happy? What drew you to this this video? Is it the teddies? Are you doing your own oops, are you doing your own teddies? Did you just want to see how they get put together so you can do your own for you? And again, I think I got these from So Any Deals or Today's Savings or and I will put them down below. I will put the actual place I got them down below. <clears throat> I'll also link you to the, the kit that when I uh, unboxed them, unwrapped them. I believe I've already done that. Alrighty. While I'm doing this, I hope that you will subscribe. I because I'm I'm doing monthly giveaways. As soon as I reach 100 subscribers, I'm doing monthly giveaways. From then on, I mean I I just have to. I have so much stuff. I need to divest myself of some of it, and I want to give it away. I want to be a blessing to you, to um, a blessing to other crafters who just need a boost, who might be depressed or anxious or apathetic or, or whatever. Um, I want to make somebody happy with these. And if you subscribe, maybe you'll be a winner. And hopefully that will make you happy. I have all kinds of plans for the site. All kinds of plans. So that I can be a blessing to you. And that these videos can be a blessing to you as well. Oh my gosh, did I do that a whole off camera? I'm so sorry. I will be more conscious of that this time. If, if I did, I will. I will do this ear for you. And I hope and pray it'll be on camera. Okay. Again, I do the same thing on the back, right? I do a straight line right against the head. Tight as I can get into the head. As close to the edges as I can get it. The next row goes almost like it's trying to get in between the two in front. Not directly like a line right on top, but like just put them in in between the others. Oopsie. Okay. Can you still see? close to the edges you can get it. Whew, this glue is whew, really wicked. All right, so back to the glue. <coughs> Do the top ridge. It doesn't matter if the glue is globby because it just disappears. 
Okay. Now, see what I'm doing as I come around? I usually start at the top, so I'll start at the top on this one. Two at a time, that's good. I can deal with that two at a time if they're going the right way. Yep. And I kind of want to build that up so I don't have a white spot on that ear. While the glue is still wet, you can move things around a little bit. See, I will need one up here. Don't forget to, you know, you can overlap things. Oh, man. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> And that's why I'm doing this tutorial because, oh my gosh, it's not as easy. And the, the glue makes the strings in between these things. Oh, it came off of the end here because of the thing. Anyway, let me go around to the back. I am doing it on camera, am I not? <laughs> around the back. Pushing it as close to the other ones as I can. Come on, turn around. When the diamonds behave. What are you doing in there? Okay. Okay. Push them tight. It doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so then again, after I do the ridge, I go in and line them up next to the head. And then I just fill it in best I can, starting from the where the ear attaches to the head, and then going out from there. And like I said, it doesn't it doesn't have to be straight lines. It shouldn't be straight lines. It should be more random because nature is random, in a way. There you go. And that's the back of the ears. The glue sets up very quickly. So, you don't have to worry about that. Come on. Put the peach away. The next one I want to show you is how to do the torso. And... Uh, same same gal here. How to do the torso. Alright. I always start on the front. On the side that will be seen most. What I like to do is I like to push the arms back at first. Because we're not doing the arms right now. We're doing the, the body. This is the face. And this is the front. Alright. So what I do is I go close to the close to the top, put a bunch of my goop on, 
close to the arm but not on the arm if you can help it. You'll just have to work to free it then. Close to the top crease but not on it. Yes, I find having a tweezer to be very handy at this point. To keep the drills behaving. And again, the reason why I'm not pushing them right into the crack is because we want the head and the arms to be free enough to move. So then I keep going. Come on. And again, I put them in the opposite. You know, like it's not not in a straight line, but I try to fill in the gaps between them with the new one. Sometimes it tries to creep up to the neck here. Still good. Okay. Can you see that? Don't try to line them up. I try to put them in between the first two. Okay, some goop got in here. I don't like that. What I can do <coughs> is maybe start the top of the arm. I'll show you that in the next doll. So anyway, we'll keep going around. I get close to the the arm as I can without sticking directly on it. Okay. The places you will have trouble are under the arm and around the arm socket. Okay. Oopsie. Okay, go back in with more glue. I'm going to show you how getting underneath the arm socket here. <coughs> Alright. I do the underarm, but I leave a gap. A very small gap. I leave more of a gap on the arm when I'm down there. Because they don't have enough room to have two diamonds rub against each other. Come on glue in my wax pencil now. That's why it's acting funky. Alright. I think that the torso is going to be seen more than the inside of the arm. So I'm I work more on the torso area. let that dry and then I move the I swing the arms around to make sure that it's still able to move. and again when you get down to the crease at the sh at the uh, the leg don't put it right into the crease don't glue it to the other leg get down as close to there as you can and here I just fill in the rest of the front at random and covering over the glue that I already put down. And I just have to check it to see that I am not putting it in the wrong place. Okay? And I'll keep going like that all around the front. Making sure that the legs keep swinging and the arm, see how the arm see how the arm is? it's going to push. So I leave a little bit of room on the underarm. If 
everything sticking to the glue. Turn it over. When that's done, I will do the back in the same way. I'll swing the arms to the front. I'll do the back in the same way. I'll put the line at the top. I start at the neck. Up close to the crease, but not in it. Right. I'm trying to make sure that the glue does not run into the arm or into the neck. I want that to stay loose. That's part of the fun of having these things, right? You don't want to get in there. I think I need to rub my wax pencil. Yeah, that's better. I had glue on it. The back is pretty much the same as the front. Make a couple straight lines. On the torso. There you go. I won't do the whole thing. Just where I put the glue. When you get down to the bottom, okay, when you get all the way down to the bottom, what I do is I <clears throat> move the legs out of the way. And basically, what's going to happen is I have to be careful with the glue here. So it wants to glob. But you just put one in between the legs. It's kind of crazy looking, but you're just going to put one in between the legs. And then you fill it in around it. See? You. I'm going to fill it in the, on the front here. Jeez. Oh, this glue, I'm telling you. Got to be a better glue. Come on. The klutz does not want to strike again while doing this. Thank you very much. Can you see all right? Here we go. I just fill it in and squish it around and make sure that I got all the drills in. And that's the way to do the crotch. Can overlap when you meet up if you need to. All right. All righty. And then I make sure that the legs keep swinging. Make sure that the arms can swing. It's going to be one too much here. Come 
fun. This glue is just, it takes the cake, I'm telling you. It sticks everything together. The arms are wide enough to to swing past like one set of diamonds under the underarm right where that crease is and below. I'm going to re-stick some of these because I don't want the holes in here. Okay, see what I mean by the crease? Right in here. Right there is where it changes. And you need to get the drills as close to that as possible without going in it because that's when you get them all. When you get them all for huts here. Here we go. Boy, I'm making a mess out of this. I've made like six of them so far and I'm making a mess out of this one. That's what tweezers are for. And believe me, while it's still sticky, you got to fix it while it's still sticky because otherwise you're going to have to... It, it'll be on there solid as a rock. Come on. Don't stick to my finger. Stick to the teddy. There. Just, you know, mess with the tele behaves. Then you go under the rest of the arm. And you go around the back. Okay? The same way. And you go into the crotch. Okay. That way, that Ted is going to be ready for the next step. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now that that Ted is, I'll show you the next Ted. Get in there. Okay. 